hotel. We're leaving now. It's not a full, full idolatry right over there. That's the municipal house of PA. So let's go into that today. There's nothing exciting over there. So let's see if I have everything. Yes, I am. If you want to learn about philosophy, but not today. No food inside, but everybody brings food in here. So, it is the A bed now. Well, let's show it here first. What you will see here is now the city center of the egg. That's China, here begins Chinatown. And here is just a square with all the malls. That's the cinema with a lot of crap, crappy Hollywood movies, so I won't go in the, into there. So. By the way, why should I go to the cinema if I can download movies? Let's get real. You just use uTorrent. You go to a library like this, like the, over there, with fast internet, and you can have a good movie within 20 minutes. So I rather download it than buy a ticket. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm keeping it real over here. I'm not putting on a social mask, telling people what people want to hear. I'm just being real. Well, there ain't really much to show around here. Oh. There's a giant tunnel, there's a real walk there and then through there. But I have to admit, you know, this city center cannot be compared to the cities we visited in Japan. Like, Fukuoka was the first city we visited in Japan, we've been to. It cannot be compared to this. This is a village compared to Fukuoka, Hiroshima and all those other places. Also the soul. I don't know, Asian cities are more alive than these cities here. You know, here in the Netherlands, you know, shops close at 8 o'clock in the evening, uh, at 8 p.m. You don't have a 24-hour economy around here, so... 
Oh, that's a, that's a huge difference. Also in Germany, you have in certain places that malls and shops close at 8 o'clock. Well, they are in the Christmas mood, as you can see. Spending, wasting millions of euros at decoration that will have to, they, they'll have to take off soon. Oh. As I mentioned before, that, that's Channel Tunnel over there. You see those lines, those genius lines around there. Let's go. sometimes eat around here there's also an, an American you know a restaurant right over there you know where you can buy American sandwiches and everything so if you're an American and you want to visit the Hague the Hague Central the, the Hague uh, City Center you can go over there but I don't eat there all the time there's a Japanese sushi restaurant the library you see over there we were at the third floor I believe that you made the previous videos well I do have shoes of course but I'm not someone who is obsessed by sh with shoes that's you know you see most of the times obsession with shoes are associated with women but there are men who are also obsessed with shoes not me there's another asian restaurant and i don't know which, which, which restaurant this is but uh, there's american you see american food street la american food street so that's an American restaurant. You, don't, you know, I've noticed you don't find many American restaurants around here. Um, so let, let's keep on looking. You won't find many. Well, maybe because, you know, I don't know, American dishes. Can you mention any American dishes for me if you're watching this video? I'll be glad to hear from you. We'll walk over here. skating over there but we won't bring the camera over there because some are camera shy and I don't have any crap at this moment so we'll keep on walking. There's a Babylonian stronghold behind us right over there also called a Catholic Central. <laughs> Scary isn't it? You see, I hope to make more recordings, you know, when I'm in um, Korea. I'll try to visit Incheon, Seoul. It's Seoul, not Seoul. And by the way, Seoul is Latin for, you know, sun. So basically, 
The city is uh, named after the sun god, Alexander III of Macedonia. Now the Antichrist, now you know it. I will also start to visit Busan, Gimcheon, Taejeon, and some other cities in South Korea. And I will start to visit Pyongyang, Haiju, Wonsan, Hanghu, Chongqing, and a few other North Korean uh, cities. They are available for tourists, unless you're American, then they're very suspicious of you. But I'm not American, so I have uh, free access to North Korea. Hey, I'm not, I'm not picking on Americans here, okay? I'm just telling the truth as it is. North, the North Korean state is very suspicious of Americans. So if you're an American and you try to enter North Korea, you'll be in trouble. But I'm from the, I'm Dutch, so now let me see. I'm my nationality is Dutch. I'm from the Caribbean. Okay, so but I'm Dutch from nationality, so I won't have much trouble answering North Korea. There are more Dutch people that visit North Korea and come back safely. So I'll, I'll try to do my best to make recordings in you know both North and South Korea and um, maybe I'll have to go to go to Russia or Japan for one or two days before entering South Korea because as you know there's a demarcation line or how have they call it there's a military border between North and South Korea between Seoul and Pyongyang you see there are North Koreans working in South Korea and there are South Koreans working in North Korea so people are crossing the border but I don't want, you know, to cause any political... Let, let me say, I don't want to cause any unrest over there, so... If it's not allowed for me to pass, you know, from North Korea to South Korea, you know, I'll just go to Vladivostok in Russia for a day, or to Osaka for one day or two, and then go to South Korea. I won't make a big deal of it, but if I can pass from, you know, for some, if I can go from Wonsan to Busan, through the roadway, you see, in the east, on the eastern shore, I will do it. Uh, we're almost at the Hague Central Station here, the railway station. And uh, furthermore, another plan I have is to visit Denmark. Hold on. Oh, never mind. There's nothing coming. Another thing I want to do is I want to visit Norway and Denmark, make a trip through both those countries. Norwegian and Danish are quite similar. Spain and Portugal are also going to make a trip between those two kingdoms and also a few Caribbean islands. So I'll be quite busy coming coming months, you see. And uh, it's all for the glory of God, it's all for the glory of the Lord Jesus. He's the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He has anointed me, I live for Him. And uh, I enjoy being me because. I'm on, I'm on date by him. See, and that's a problem with many people. They want to become someone else. See, instead of counting their own blessings, they're counting the blessings of others. You see? Well, that's the, I mean, the, you know, the ministry of... How does it go to change the Nazis? In English, it's the royal relationship with the Netherlands. That's, that's that over there. Blessings of others instead of counting your own blessings. And this is wrong. Because by doing that, you're basically, you know, accusing the Lord. You're basically accusing God of not being a cheerful giver towards you. You see, just because you didn't, you know, just because you didn't discover your purpose in God yet, it doesn't mean that there isn't any purpose for you. Okay? Don't let, don't let the so-called success of others, you know, threaten you. You see, just be you, okay? And, and that's the thing with, you know, the people in the Old Testament, I mean, the prophets and, the, and those that follow God in the Old, during the Old Testament, they were themselves. They were themselves. They didn't try to become as someone else. You see, King David, by the way, he was a prophet, but God appointed him as king, but he was originally a prophet. The prophet David, who also became King David, 
he was himself. When things went wrong with him, the Lord chastised him. The prophet Elijah was also himself. The prophet Elijah also. You see? Also in the New Testament, when you have the apostles, they were themselves. Simon was himself. If before his name changed into Peter. But the apostle Paul was himself. You see? Just be you, okay? That's what I want to show you guys. Don't try to be someone else. It's an insult on the sovereignty of God. Okay. As you can see, we've arrived at, you know, the central station. And um, we're going to check it in now. Hold on. That thing needs to pass first. take that, that other one that's going to Rotterdam right directly you see hold on the one going to Venlo see, maybe that one goes earlier so uh, hold on This one ain't going through to someone drunk before the train and committed suicide. So that's why this one is ain't, Again. unfortunately. Again. So we have to go another route. Two times on day, but let the transfer trail name, you know? Okay, so we're going to take the subway to Rotterdam. That's also possible. You know, Twice it happens today that someone committed suicide by jumping for the train and all this. You see? You see, they made some studies in the Netherlands. And, you know, you know, roughly four people each week. You need roughly four people a week jump, but four people a week commit suicide in the Netherlands. Most of them jump for the train. So, about 200 people commit suicide each year in this country. Most of them jump for the train. You see, this ain't right. This ain't right, people. So, the Netherlands was on number four most happy countries in the world. Well, I don't believe that crap. One of the most happiest countries in the world and many people want to commit suicide. Doesn't make sense. No. Oh, there. It just, oh man, it just left. No. Hold on. Uh, let's see when the next one is coming. It's a problem, but uh, well, I'm going to shut down this video now and may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you.